A DEVELOPMENT BATTLE UNDERWAY IN DELAWARE COUNTY. PEOPLE IN OSTRANDER WANT TO KNOW WHY A DEVELOPER CUT DOWN HUNDREDS OF TREES, TREES THE VILLAGE CLAIMS WERE OFF LIMITS. NEW AT 5, ABC 6'S TOM BOSCO SHOWS WHAT THE VILLAGE IS DOING ABOUT IT. RAINWATER FLOWS AWAY AFTER A STORM. AND THE BIRDS SING. BUT LOOK AROUND AND YOU'LL SEE THIS ISN'T QUITE THE PEACEFUL NATURE SCENE YOU THINK IT IS. THESE PINK FLAGS ON STAKES LET YOU KNOW DEVELOPMENT IS COMING. DEVELOPERS ARE MOVING TREES TO MAKE WAY FOR MORE HOMES HERE. BUT LARRY Kreil SAYS TOO MANY TREES ARE GONE. THAT'S HEARTBREAKING TO SEE THIS IN THIS MAGNITUDE and you come back to why. Take a look at the huge trees that were taken down in March. The village says about 250 of them in all. Larry Kreil is angry, but he's not just a resident, he's the mayor. When I put my mayor's hat on, uh, now it becomes an issue relative to the enforcement. He says the Margello Development Company didn't ask permission to cut the trees, violating the development agreement and village law. The Delaware County Bank owns the land. It took over after the previous developer foreclosed. A vice president told me today the bank hired Margello but didn't have direct knowledge the developer was going to cut the trees. I talked to Vincent Margello. He referred me to his attorney. The mayor, meanwhile, says the village will fight to have those trees replaced. We want to maintain that rural nature of the village of Ostrander. So trees, tree-lined streets, all of these things, as romantic as they sound, are extremely sensitive to the residents. In Ostrander, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6 News.